1994, where Prime Ministers were grey and fetching your baguettes from France had never been easier, thanks to the new Channel Tunnel. Tensions were rising over inspections of nuclear plants in North Korea and Rover is purchased by BMW. But more important than all that, the Triumph Speed Triple was introduced. It instantly became the hooligan's favourite with its torquey power curve and front wheel lifting antics. The Speed Triple defined the Street Fighter market. It was the first time this type of motorcycle was available to the public from a manufacturer. The Speed Triple has been through many iterations over the years, each one pushing the limits of power output and technology. However, the competition has been hot on the heels of the Speed success and in recent years the Speed has been left behind by the latest generation of Super Nakeds. However, 2021 sees the launch of the all-new Speed Triple RS and it's time for the Speed to fight back. It's time for the new revolution. Welcome along guys. Well it's an exciting day. It is embargo lifting day. All the information has been released publicly today about the new Speed Triple 1200 RS. So I won't keep you waiting. What are the specs first of all of this machine? It's an 1160cc triple making a peak power of 180 PS which is 177.5 brake horsepower. That is actually 29 horsepower up on the 2020 version, so a massive power hike. It's also 125 newton meters of torque, which is eight newton meters up on the old bike. It's 650 RPMs higher revving and 12% less inertia within the engine itself, so it will spin up faster. Another amazing thing they've managed to achieve with this bike, they've actually made it 10 kilos lighter. So not only is it 30, brake horsepower up on the old bike it's also 10 kilos lighter so they've done an incredible amount of work seven kilos of that weight is gone from the all new engine the whole bike is 100 percent new there's not one component which is carried over from the old machine it really it's not it's not an evolution of the old bike it is a complete redesign the engine is also more compact than the previous version, meaning the swinging arm is actually longer on this bike because the engine doesn't take up as much room. Overall wheelbase is the same. I've got a couple of engine dyno graphs to share and as you can see, compared to the old engine, it's still got a lot of low down torque. That was my big worry. I'm a great big fan of the old bike. I've rode it several times and what I loved about it was how the, the bottom end pull it had. It was so much bottom end grunt which made it a fantastic road bike. And I was worried with the new one they may go for just all top end power and leave it a little bit lacking at the bottom end. But looking at the power graphs I'm pleased to say it's only a tiny smidgen weaker at the bottom. So it's still delivering amazing bottom end but get to about 6,000 revs and the new bike just pulls away. Another change related to the engine is the exhaust. They spend a lot of time optimising the exhaust sound, the exhaust flow, which is probably how they managed to achieve one of the reasons with this extra 30 horsepower. What they've cleverly done is gone down the same route as like the RSV4, the new Fireblade. If you look at the exhaust closely, you can see there's two pipes going into the end can and they've got a valve in the exhaust. So to meet emission rules, you know, to meet noise rules, they basically have the thinner pipe for when the bike is below probably around 5,000 revs, so it's quite quiet, but go over 5,000 revs, that valve's opens, it uses the thicker bit of pipe work and you get that lovely noise. And Triumph has said, yeah, this bike sounds amazing. Obviously, we've not heard it yet, but I can, if it's anything like the RSV4, if it's anything like the Fireblade with the, the valves in the exhaust with two different pipe works, that really works well and it should sound amazing. It sounds so good, Triumph are not even offering an optional like arrow can for it, that you can't get one. All there is is the standard can. And they've put so much work into the standard setup, it's supposed to sound beautiful. Can't wait to hear it. A visceral intake roar is what Triumph describe it as. So not only that beautiful exhaust sound, you've got an amazing intake roar. Bit, they've, they've said a bit like the Street Triple. The Street Triple's got an amazing howl through the airbox. The Speed's now going to have that same howl, or a similar howl. <laughs> I can't wait to hear that. 
The bike still has Olin suspension, top of the line Olin suspension front and rear. The old Olins used to be black on the 2020 version. They've got now gone fully gold on the 2021 version. I'm not sure, I did quite like the blacked out look of the old Olins, but this is a bit more in your face, a bit more bling. It also now comes with the Brembo Stylema calipers. The chassis is also new, it's lighter, it's been tuned to make the bike handle better. And it's also, they, they spent a lot of effort making it all the, centralizing all the mass. And the chassis has helped to centralize that mass because the engine is now, the new engine is much smaller than the old one. So the whole bike is looking like it could be a little bit more compact than the old one, which is a shame. I hope they don't go too small. Being a bigger guy, I like a bit of substantial bike underneath of me, but I think it should be okay. But they've, they've mass centralized everything. That's one of the reasons why the exhaust has now moved from the back of the bike to an underslung exhaust, because you know having that weight high up isn't ideal if you want to build the ultimate hypernaked. The bike weighs in at an amazing 198 kilos wet. That's comparative with the Street Fighter S <laughs> super naked so very very light it also comes fitted standard with a lithium battery so they've managed to achieve that by the new engine seven kilos saved on the engine you know lighter lighter everything in the engine basically more compact the engine so seven kilos lighter slight savings in weight everywhere else but they've also included a lithium battery which saves another couple of kilos as well so 198 kilos wet. Triumph haven't given it, but I suspect it's probably around the 175 kilos dry, which is an incredibly light machine for a bike which is almost a 1200. Not only has the engine and chassis been overhauled, the electronics have also been updated on the bike. The bike has a new 5 inch TFT, which is a whole new design. I'm really pleased about that because I'm not a massive fan of the display on the Street Triple with its sort of over stylized rev counter. This one's got a very simple display, a big analog looking rev counter with all the other features built around it. So the display looks amazing. I'm really pleased about that. The whole electronic suite has been overhauled. It's now got five rider modes, including a specific track mode. All of the traction control, power output is all tuned between those different modes. There's still a mode where you can go in and set your own settings up. It's got the latest six axis IMU, which can also do a bit of slide control, which is also built into the riding modes as well. It's sounding very, very nice. Cornering ABS, again, the ABS is tuned between the different rider modes. It's got a new anti-lift, anti-wheelie mode built into it. I'm not sure if you can disable the wheelie control from the traction control. Not sure about that, but I know they've made the wheelie control different between the different modes. So if you're going to the track mode, perhaps you can do a bit more, you'll let the wheel come up a little bit more. And the brilliant thing is you can now switch between modes on the fly. You no longer have to stop to switch between modes. Massive update, love it. Quick shifter and blipper now comes as standard. Cruise control comes as standard. The switch gear illumination has been improved, so the switch gear illumination is brighter as well. The bike has a new keyless system. I'm not a massive fan of keyless, and uh, they've taken the keyless one step further by making the fuel tank now keyless as well. That's one of my pet hates. I don't like the keyless fuel tank, but we'll see how that works out. The bike looks much more aggressive now. They've gone with those angry eyes type headlights, but made them even more angry looking than they are in the Street RS. I really like the design of this. It's all a bit more compacted. I hope it's not too small a bike when you see it in the flesh. I don't think it will be, but it looks more, it looks a bit KTM-like in its aggressiveness. It, the way it's sitting, its stance, it looks ready to go. I, I'm a big fan of the looks of this machine now. I was anyway, but this has just taken it one step further. The bike's available in two colors, a matte silver and a sapphire black. Both look nice. So now we come to the important thing. How much is all this loveliness gonna cost you? Well, I think the bike is reasonably priced compared to its competition. It's priced at 15,100 pounds. There's only gonna be an RS version. There's not gonna be a different version of the speed. It comes as an RS and an RS only. Certainly for this year anyway, whether there be a, a lower spec model next year, who knows, but it's just uh, for this year, it's an RS version only, 15,100 pounds. With the quick shifter on it, lithium battery, the spec of the machine, I don't think that's too bad. So there we go. The Speed RS, it's looking rather smashing, isn't it? I will ride this bike as soon as I can. As soon as Destination Triumph, my local Triumph dealer, have these in stock, I'll be riding them. It should hit the dealers around end of February is what Triumph is saying. So not long to wait. 
I don't think there's going to be an international launch for this bike with the current way we are with COVID and lockdown. I don't know if there is, I'll try and get on it because I think this is a bike I'm most excited about for 2021. But thanks for watching, really appreciate it as always. Take care and I will see you soon. Cheers guys. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> I could do that all day. What have you done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh! Backfire! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Listen to me. Oh, <laughs>